Hey everyone, it's the Nacho Dad. I am uh, on episode four. Here we go. If you remember last time, we took out a carrier up here right after it had taken granite. Well, as it was taking granite. Still took granite. Granite is where I had a petrol being made, and I'm curious as to whether that petrol is still there. We also expect that there is a carrier likely at Vulcan or possibly going down to Bacchus. Depending on whether it's going to Bacchus, I will, I think, turn around and go get it. It's going to be hard. But I might let, if it's going for Vulcan, I might let it take Vulcan. Before that, I want to make sure that our barge is doing the right thing, so it's going to pick up. 39 more rockets to make, which will make 200, and then making some bombs. I doubt those bombs will all be made because they take a while. So I have too many rockets ordered. And then bombs, 40. I was making 30. I don't think I could even make really 10. It's 26. What the heck? And then let's see if we can see this carrier. So, if it's going from Edgeley to Vulcan, it's going to be somewhere between like 60 degrees and 78 degrees, I guess. And if it is going for Bacchus, it's going to be between 80 and 108. So, let's see if we can see where it is. Start. What is this? This. Oh, it's like a. It's a ship. Probably a swordfish. And then that looks like land. 63 degrees. So 63 would be the start of Vulcan. Okay, so that is. I'm seeing Vulcan there. There's another ship. Looks like. And then. I think that. Is that a carrier? Um, well, something is attacking the island. Yep, that's a carrier right there. You can see the green. Alright, carrier at 73. So it's either behind or in front of the island. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna save these bombs and throw on some auto cannons. I might take out some some ground vehicles with auto cannons, let that load up, and also get a razor bill ready with auto cannons. Because I think I'm going to take granite on. Yeah, I'm gonna, since he's attacking Vulcan, I'm going to take granite, make some money, and see if I can get that petrol back. Turning off the... Oh! Okay, we had a torpedo just miss us. How did it miss? Oh, because I'm behind an island, okay. Um, I turned off the weapons so we can travel quickly to granite. So the, the plan is once this manta is loaded and you can see the loadout being added and you'll see the auto cannons turn green. As soon as it is loaded I'm going to launch it and start um, targeting finding the targets and then we'll bring in the carrier and our razor build and then take over the island and then we'll come back 
I hope it gives enough time for the barge to give me some more rockets to deal with this carrier. I will say this is quite a bit earlier than I like to take on carriers. As we saw, I had to use a ton of torpedoes to take out the first carrier. I like to build up my arsenal a little bit more than this, but this is good for experience and uh, it's good practice. So 15 seconds. So um, as soon as the Manta starts backing up, you've got about 15 seconds before it takes off. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and take off. And then I am going to start the carrier. I'm not going to go full speed because I don't want to hit the island. Pretty quick. And then hop into this Manta and see if I can see that carrier and make sure that it is a carrier. So it was 70 something. That I think is the land. Yep, that's definitely a carrier. All the flashing lights, that's a carrier. Right, going away from it to give me a little bit of time to build up some more arsenal and some more money. We'll start spotting these ground vehicles and take some shots as well, maybe at the ones that are in in groups. Sorry, this is kind of jerky for some reason right now. I'm too far away. Ah, I didn't have tracking on, I was just stabilized. all of them. I'm going to go ahead and take some shots with the auto cannons at the larger group. So I'll stay about 900 to 1,000 meters, kind of get over them, slow down a little bit, and scrape the larger groups. I like to fly a little crazy as I pull out, just to make sure that nobody can take a good hit at you. I'll roll over the wings level and then pick out another group to shoot at. Make sure I don't get too low because I will auger in if I get too low. Back up to about 900 meters. Back up to 900 meters. Oh, that's not the best of shots. I might just take out all of them here. I just got nicked. Just not flying crazy enough. He was a good shot. Got this group right here. Well, looks like I have one more. Don't get too cocky on the one. I think there may be another one that I missed. That was the worst shot I've ever taken. It's always the last guy that's the hardest. 
There we go. Now I want to go back over here and see if this light I keep seeing over here is... I think that's a ship of some sort. So the carrier worked pretty close. Let's go up and drop off our seal and take over the island. This one. To see how close I get. And we're pretty close, so I will turn the boat around and release my seal to take over. While the boat is turning, I'm going to hop into the Manta real quick and just make sure that I don't have any additional. ground units that I missed, and it doesn't look like I do. Boat is almost turned around. So I'll send out the seal, tell it to deploy the vehicle, which are the bots, and then have it come back. And I can deal with my supplies. Alrighty, so inventory. Oh good, we almost have 200 rockets. And it looks like the barge will start coming back. Let's just bring it back. Sometimes you have to tell the barge to go somewhere random so it breaks the cycle. We'll watch this seal, and I might even back up a little bit. Alright, what I want to think about is configuring my... Um, aircraft to take on this this carrier so first things first I'm going to bring back my Manta so I'm hoping that we get the rockets soon enough that this Manta can be my Rocket Manta, then this Manta will be my Bomb Manta. Then I'm going to need torpedoes, and so this Razor Bill will go back to a Torpedo Razor Bill. And then we have to plan the actual event. Okay, so then I've got... So I've got three torpedo aircraft and then three anti-aircraft aircraft just in case he gets those aircraft off. Oh, we do have something shooting at him. I knew that was a thing. Oh well, doesn't matter. He's not going to bother anybody. Because this thing is coming back already and my mantis is going to land. Alright, once I get this manta landed, and it looks like it's on approach right now, I will reconfigure this Manta. I think that's going to be the Bomb Manta. And 
and as soon as my seal is back, we will take off. Now, where are we going to go? So he was either in front or in back. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to park in this shallow water here by storm to where I can kind of go around it if there are too many um, torpedoes that are launched at us. So I'm going to set at about, let's say, 110 degrees. And I'm waiting for this green light to light up and start blinking, and then I'll let me know that my seal is on board. And then we'll go to 110 degrees, and we will go as fast as we possibly can go over there. Just got our captured island. I'm curious as to whether that petrol is still here. It is! Let's make another Manta while we're at it. Do we do two? Let's do two Manta. Alright, and everybody's back, so 110 degrees. Full throttle. Turn off my radar so we can have full green over there. There was some yellow. 10 degrees, and we will start configuring that manta. You'll see it is the um, crane is taking a lot of power right now. So let me configure this. This was going to be a bomb, a heavy bomb manta. I don't want to use my AWACS because if I lose the AWACS, only have one. But we got a number of seals. We actually got a walrus too. Did not expect there to be a walrus there. Alright, let's watch our progress here. Chugging along. It'll be about here and Oh, he has taken Vulcan. Alright, I I need to stop him quick. I wonder if leaving that there is going to cause a problem. I've never left a... I've never left a... Um, thing. What is... There is a... Well, he's trying to take over my island. You are not getting my island. No, is the answer to you. Shoot. I really wanted those rockets, but I think I'm going to have to take him on without rockets. So, I'm going to set this guy up to be a single rocket and then heavy bombs. Alright, once we get there, we have to make a decision. So, he looks like he's coming at storm. So what I can do is put my torpedo... So if he's here ish. Put my torpedo launchers here and that'll give it enough time because it's got about a 60 second fuse. Question is do I want to put this carrier here? I'll keep it where it is. As soon as I am in calmer waters, I'm going to launch. This one's going to be tough, guys. What is he shooting at? Shooting at my barge. I don't see where the carrier is. 
Uh oh, I hope it's not the one for the other one. Alright, I gotta get launched. I hope it's not going for my only heavy ammunition. Okay, so I see it launching here. So there it is. And I think we are in calm enough waters. Alright, let's set this up. What did I lose? Okay, just my response. Alright, so since I don't have my rockets, we will start that. I'm going to get couple of helicopters out since they're slower. Then my bomb manta. Then my my torpedo albatross. And then my anti airs, and I'll just kind of put them over here. Turn on my weapons and the radar. Good idea. I can't believe I didn't have the radar on. Yeah, now I can see him. Okay, it looks like they're coming from here, so I think he, it's going towards Bacchus, which means I have to stop it. So as soon as this Manta takes off, I'm going to take control of it, and we're going to go do a first attack. My first attack will be rockets. Not as many as I'd like, though. I usually like to have all four. A bunch of stuff up in there. I don't know what all is shooting. See this carrier anywhere. I'm just going to go back to where it was. And we'll hope we'll find it. There it is. See the red and green lights. That'll line up. There are a bunch of ships here. This one's going to be tough. I'm probably going to lose something here. Wow, I've never seen so many. Those are swordfish on his side, and so, and they're very, very good. I'll do my best flying here. I wonder if those swordfish are his swordfish, or if they are belonging to somebody else, like an island. One heavy bomb out, and that was not a good drop. Drop this last heavy bomb, and then I've got to fly this thing out. Right, there we go. Heavy bomb, and 
get as high and fast as I can. Towards my carrier. Alright, I have no more um, countermeasures, so I'm going to fly this thing. And there goes my other Manta. Alright, hopefully this is far enough. I'm going to land that and take control of this Manta. And we'll run, do a heavy bomb run on it. Dang it, I just lost a Manta with a bunch of heavy bombs. And here comes an aircraft. Doesn't look like it's coming. So I need to find this so I can determine where to shoot those torpedoes. I cannot believe I just lost a Manta. It is. So it's not all the way 100. There's... Okay, there it is. It was at 82, and it's close. I should probably launch some torpedoes from here. So if he's 82... somewhere around here. So I will take these guys and shoot straight north. And I'm going to go ahead and launch some torpedoes at 82 for my left side. And then I'll take control of those torpedo aircraft and launch. This I can see where this area is. There's a couple of those. He was near those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot these torpedoes off. While heading approximately north. Get this albatross back. Those are active. This razor bill. We'll fire off and we'll bring everybody back because I have a feeling we're going to be fighting a very difficult fight here. Is my Manta back? My Manta's back. So I'm going to reconfigure this Manta for more bombs and go back. So I did not get a good bomb run on this carrier. And I'm worried that he'll have countermeasures that can take out all of these torpedoes because I did not do a good run. We 
now the process of flashing, so let's see what it's saying. This is an aircraft there. Got on the it's gotta be up there. Those were near him before, and I see some smoke. I see an aircraft. That carrier's gotta be around there somewhere. That's my assumption anyway. Let's see where these things track to. Let me reconfigure this. Oh, I have rockets. I think I'm gonna make this a rocket boat. And go in with all rockets blazing. Just in case. None of my bombs hit, and my rockets didn't hit very well. I want to take out all of his defenses. Now, no matter where this carrier is, there are torpedoes going towards him right now. Because it's somewhere here. Now that it's... Like, okay, so it is at 84. So it's here somewhere. So all these things are tracking towards him. I'm not going to tell these guys to land right now, because I want this Manta to be able to take off. I hear the Manta, so now I'll bring everything back. And then I still have my screen up. Alright, let's see what's happening here. We've got torpedoes turning. Hopefully they are going to hit him. Watch on the viewer. See if we can see anything. There it is. Alright, we're, we're getting hits on on the carrier. That's good. I'm going to shoot some more. 84. Good hits. Was those two? So these two hit. Got my manta up. Good hits. I thought that was a rocket coming at me. No, it's the sun. Now we are going to take out this carrier. doing that.
All right, Mr. Carrier. I'm going to strafe you, and this time I'm going to do it right. Looks like you're hurt enough that you can't launch any AA at me. You've got a bunch of ground assets in front of you. So this will teach you that you can actually put ground assets around your your carrier, and their anti-aircraft um, on a ground asset is pretty effective. So they've got the Sea Whiz, and pretty effective. I, I cannot believe. I think I may have got it. Everything seems to have blown up. Yep. Got the carrier. All of the ground vehicles are exploding. So the carrier is dead. Now we just bring everybody back. Second carrier down. With just one Manta loss. And the good news is, on the next episode, we can quickly run over to Vulcan and take that island before it gets any more uh, uh, gets any more weapons on it. So I'm going to run up with that barge. I should have done this earlier, and I'm going to get the Manta and oh, the couple of mantas that I made and the petrol so let me order those make sure they're done by looking at this yep two mantas and a petrol just lost one why did I just get a ding I just lost a razor bill? How? Oh, I'm in too heavy of... I just lost a razor bill somehow. Ugh. Okay. Let me get into calmer waters, and then we'll call this an episode. What I'm going to do is let everything land, now that I'm in a little bit calmer waters. What is landing right now? I lost the razor bill. Alright, so that razor bill is has landed. I'm going to move a little bit into more calm waters. Turn off my weapons. Start kind of creeping towards that island. Well, okay, so we lost a manta and a razor bill. It's no fun. Hopefully we don't lose anything else. So I've got a Manta and an Albatross and a Razor Bill that are still needing to land. I've got three air assets landed. Now the reason that we're getting the music that we're getting right now is because I think this is near that single guy that I left. That single ground vehicle. I thought I was in better water, I guess. There's enough current to push me back. Alright, so in the next episode, we are going to quickly run over. We're going to try and take Vulcan before it gets any... Uh, any ground vehicles repopulated on it. 
I'm gonna let everything land. Hopefully this... Yes. This barge is coming back. And I'm going to then send it back to give me more weapons. And we'll make sure the barge has what it needs. So we've got two mantos and a petrol. And I may actually just fly a petrol over to Vulcan and drop it there. Although there are a couple of swordfish over there. So I've got to think about that. So what I may do is launch a manta that has rockets, take out those swordfish that are in front of Vulcan. If they were carrier-based, then they won't be there. They would have blown up with the carrier. But if they're associated with the island... And I don't see any lights, so I might just be able to fly a petrol over there with my seal underneath it. I'll show you how to pick up a seal. And we can take that island. What I will do is, when I get the petrol on board, I will configure it with auto cannons, so we can take out any ground vehicles that are actually populated there. I'm not a huge fan of taking things out with the petrol, but you can do it in a pinch. And I will show you that one on the next episode. So, got an albatross and a manta that are landing. We have taken granite. We took out our, the carrier, the second carrier here. As for the third and fourth carrier, we don't even have to think about them yet. So this one will be here. I think this one is going to be up here. So we can take some more islands. Probably take Magma and Avernus. We may take Edgley, although that's a four shield. Although I can show you how to take a four shield. The other idea is to turn around after we take Vulcan, because I really need that barge. And then come up and start taking these, so I can ultimately take this base. And so this warehouse will have everything that we start with in the warehouse. So a bunch of anti-aircraft um, missiles, a bunch of torpedoes, and that's a good way to get additional torpedoes. At this point, I have, I don't know, very, very few torpedoes. I have one torpedo. And then whatever is on the aircraft. And I, I don't think I have a torpedo. I can't make torpedoes yet. No, I do not have a torpedo um, blueprint. So let me see if I can find a torpedo blueprint. We can make torpedoes if we go up there. So I'm thinking we may reverse course after we get after we take um, the barge island. Reverse course, come up here, take all of these so we can be flush with cash, be able to make torpedoes and all the rest of the munitions, be able to make gas, and also take his warehouse, and then we'll be in fighting form for the rest of the two carriers. And hopefully at that point, I'll stop losing <laughs> mantas and razor bills as I'm fighting carriers. So it looks like we got our petrol and our manta. I am going to configure that petrol, as I said. So, with four auto cannons, we'll put in a camera, let those load, and I will launch both a seal and a petrol. We'll pick up the seal, we'll fly over to that island, we'll take it over, and we'll do that in the next episode. It's evening here on the ship. So have a great evening, and we'll see you next time.